Shovel Knight's back. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, for those of you that don't know, if you didn't see me play the original campaign, go to the playlist. I know that this is actually most of you because I have a lot more subscribers than I did back then. Go to the playlist in the description where it says watch more Shovel Knight and you can watch me play the original campaign. But this is going to be for the new expansion that just came out, which we're going to unlock using a cheat code right now. So I'm going to hold down the attack button. Up, up, right, down, left, left. And I'm going to let go of the attack button. Unlocked Plague of Shadows. Play a new adventure starring the alchemical mastermind Plague Knight. Also, there's a challenge mode. So, that's the code you do. You just hold down attack, do up, up, right, down, left, left, and that'll unlock pl uh, Plague of Shadows. If you don't have a save, like I do, because I lost my save. Whoops. Uh, otherwise, just beat the game as Shovel Knight and you unlock it anyway. But yeah. Same game, supposed to have new bosses and stuff like that. We have a new character. So Shovel Knight's the original protagonist that we played as last year. Plague Knight is the new guy we have now. He's actually one of the bosses we fought during the Shovel Knight campaign, although he's gonna have a story of his own. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. But villainy ran rampant, and in time, even the most stalwart heroes fell. In the absence of champions, the Enchantress and her order of no quarter swept into power. Unbeknownst to everyone, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. A draft so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Each knight unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. Uh-oh. The boss is on his way. We've got to get him back to the lab fast. I don't want to get experimented on. Just hold X to charge and, and bomb burst out of here. Come on, hurry up. What was that? <laughs> it's like, get ready, boom, instead of shovel. So I can double jump. Oh, I have like crow wings. That's a cool animation. We have a rapid fire bomb attack. No apparent inventory for that. Oh, there we go. If I show, if I hold the attack, I actually go launching through the air. That's how you do. That's how you jump higher. Interesting. Still gonna collect things, so I can't jump this normally, right? Yeah, they want. Me, they, they're very sure they want me to know, understand this right off the bat. Oh, and apparently I don't. There we go, I had to jump first. Got it. Hey, buddy. So this will be different, because as far as I can tell, we don't have a melee attack this time around. So he's very much like the... He's like an, the, very much the alternate to the previous character, I think, in that case. There we go. So, you can, so, you, so that means your best way of jumping is actually something you have to premeditate and sort of set up in advance. I'm also going to have to be very careful where I choose to do certain attacks. Since they're explosives, that I can do it at a range now. So they're, of course, going to throw all sorts of, uh, sand blocks everywhere I can destroy on accident. And that'll be a problem for me. Alright, let's try this. Have faith in me! There we go. It's not too bad. It is a very good jump. There we go. Definitely immediately wishing I could throw up. <laughs> so this is, this is definitely more in the Mega Man territory, where, uh... You're, you have a projectile, but you can only throw it exactly forward. Although, unlike Mega Man, of course, it's a weird arcing attack. So I have five coins so far. I don't think I know what they're going to do yet, but they seem like they're going to be important. That's a secret, isn't it? Is that a secret? Apparently not. Alright. It's going to take some practice getting the uh, bomb burst down. 
I don't need no checkpoints. Give me your... Yeah. Oh, can I not do that anymore? Or did I just activate it and now it doesn't work anymore? Huh. I don't think I'm allowed to destroy checkpoints anymore. There we go. What is that? Heal it. A health tonic. A full bag of tonics to upgrade your max health. Just open the menu with pause and drink them down. Alright. So it's, let's see. Gain a bubble of health until you fall in battle. Oh. So it's temporary. I can increase my maximum health and I have five of these. But if I do die, then I have to take I lose them again. My one piece of gear, original armor. Alright. Not necessarily in a hurry to immediately use a consumable. Buddy, there we go. I have to get my- oh, right, there's physics here. So you can throw and it can kind of bounce off the wall and actually work out strangely well for you. Let's try not to die instantly on spikes here. There we go. Got straight across. That gem must be mine, though. It'll be so worth- oh. That's what happens. That's what happens. Maybe I shouldn't destroy checkpoints, then. <laughs> that was my bad. I'm planning on- I'm trying to plan around, uh, having inertia, which is not really a thing in this kind of game. It's like, I've gotta recover my forward- like, if I'm moving forward, I have to press backwards to not move forward too much. That's not really the same problem here. So I can just attack him non-stop, and he's like a, a joke now, right? Oh wait, I need to get his stuff, though. Do I have a down attack? Nope, just gonna hurt myself. Alright, cool. Well, now he's dead. I can't get those now, can I? Maybe I can just jump up there? Nope, still plenty in range, so I lost- that was a waste of hit points. My bad. Hey, buddy. You wanna come over here? Oh, you're taunting me. That's what's going on here. Oh, nope, still got it just fine. That they're messing with me for the fact that I destroyed the, uh, skull like that was gonna be needed for this. Get away from my ledge, buddy. You know what? Yeah, ow, that happened. Alright. Should've saw that coming. There we go. Nope. Alright, so let's try jumping higher. There we go. Let's take it the right angle. This will take some practice, because they're definitely going to be using, uh... This mechanic's definitely specific- like, the whole design of this character is specifically designed to make you play the same levels, but in a completely different way. So many things that were so straightforward when you could just shovel through it. Oh. I can't carry anymore. I guess I should use one of these, then. There we go. Give me that. What's that? You got secrets for me. I'm just so happy to be playing this game again. It's really fun. <laughs> but there wasn't a ton of reason to play it twice in a row. Whoops. No one's probably going to watch it this time because no one, no one really wanted to watch it last time, but I am okay with that. <laughs> it, it's a fantastic game. Hey, buddy. You think you're guarding a secret, huh? I'll, I'll ruin you. Oh, where are you going? You're, <laughs> you're leaving the level on me? So there's... So we specifically... I don't think we have a down anything right now. Which is gonna be interesting, because the whole down move was really a big deal for Shovel Knight. Uh-oh. That was not how you do that jump. I immediately get the feeling that with the, uh... <laughs> with the brand- with the brand new, uh, charging attack mechanic. The way that you charge up your jumps and everything. Spikes are gonna be more my nemesis than ever before, aren't they? Oh, man, how do I get that? Just gotta be careful here. There we go, just gotta jump across. I just stick to jumping across, it's definitely more controllable. But yeah, the one-hit kill spikes for Mega Man, definitely tough to deal with. And I don't, I don't have my uh, Shovel Knight pogo jump anymore. So I have to, I have to learn a whole new moveset and how to react to different situations there. That's gonna be really strange. Because the Shovel Knight pogo jump thing from the DuckTales type attack felt super integral to the, the basics the basics of how that character kind of worked. So this is going to be a, a change of pace for sure. Oh, conundrum. I must be able to, like, b burst through them? Yeah, that's how we do it. I was like, I can't shovel up, what do I do? Oh, walked right into that one, I guess. Oh! Oh, goodness. <laughs> Gotta be, you definitely have to work to learn to work with your limitations here what you're capable of doing in a situation. Aha! Treasure! Oh crap, careful. I do like that you can kind of hesitate for a while. 
If you keep spamming the attack button, you kind of just can just stay in the air for a while. Hey, buddy. So I imagine I'll be less enemy oriented this time around. Because the whole thing about Shovel Knight is you have to use you have to plan your enemy locations carefully if you want to be able to access certain parts of the of the level. Because you have to pogo jump off of them. Shovel this guy doesn't have to pogo jump. And if anything, I think I think anything is just gonna hurt him. So like these dragons that used to be useful platforms are now dangerous enemies. Well, dangerous is an overstatement, perhaps. Aha! I attacked him by jumping. The last thing you ever expected. Must be a sand destruction completionist. Aha! How tragic would be would it be if the, if you could blow up food like a gauntlet? <laughs> all the treasure must be mine. We have to make up for the fact that I'm going to lose it all. I've already died to spikes like three times. <laughs> it's a problem. Hey checkpoint, I probably need you. Okay, so the question here is exactly how does the bomb charge work? Oh god, okay, no, that works. That's fine. Oh. Don't know how to destroy that one. Can make it work though. There we go. So the fact that I can shoot an attack in midair, kind of hesitate, and then move afterwards definitely makes it possible to suddenly get past that kind of situation. What's this thing? It's gotta be. For, that's for me, huh? Is that special? I broke it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's how you get up in that direction? Is that what they've <laughs> That must be what they've added to deal with the fact that I can't pogo off of people. It's those weird things that let me through. Wow, okay. Hey, dragon. Don't mind me. Just, just cruising through your level real quick. Trying to find your secrets. What do we have in here? Oh. Oh, wait, this is easy. I was immediately like, oh no, what do I do? Bubbles, I can't use those anymore. Oh wait, duh. I can just jump forever. That's welcome. That's definitely a welcome sh thing to be able to use. Yeah! Wow, I, th I think that was one of the first places I died in my Shovel Knight playthrough. Because it's like, oh, you have to very carefully do these platform across these destructible uh, platforms. Nope, I can just go sailing over the whole thing. So do I have powers yet? Let's press up and attack. No, nope, don't have any special powers yet. So at some point I will. Jump past this guy. Get out of my level. Screw you. Yeah. I think I like this guy. Alright, how do I... Careful. There we go. The power of invisible walls compels you. So we have a power meter for magic, but I don't have any magic yet. There we go. Get out of here. I'll kill you again, I don't give a shit. <laughs> so we have a magic meter, but no immediate way to use it. Wait, that, there's a ladder... Did I miss that one? Oh yeah, he's, it's totally up here, isn't it? Oopsie... Careful. There we go, secret wall. Oh! Forgot about you, secret wall. I should just throw bombs everywhere, it's easy. Gotta check every wall. I get all the diamonds! But are they alchemical diamonds? Because that's all I need. I'm only interested in alchemy. What are you buying? So I'm, I'm really interested in seeing what the new bosses are supposed to be. I haven't looked into it at all, because that's just what I always do, is just not research things before I play them, because I want to I want to be surprised by stuff. But I definitely saw a screenshot, and I'm like, well, that is a boss fight, and I... Oh, crap. You monster. It was definitely a boss fight I did not recognize. Oh, you little demons. Get out of here! Oh! Nope, that happened again. Okay. Well, I got it all back. <laughs> I have to get used to the fact that if something's in front of me, I can't attack it. Which is so counterintuitive. Because he can't... I need to I need to focus on jump attacking. Because at least that's a controllable angle I can rely on. Hey, I got it all back. Fuck you! You, you deserve that. You know what you did. Alright, so... Okay, so you... Oh, so you can... You can, uh... You can do the, uh, jump, and then you can do the extra jump. Then you can do another extra jump. So you can- oh, chain them a bit. What- what was that? Excuse me? Well, there's a slime hiding in there. I did not- <laughs> that caught me by surprise. Alright. Are you done here, dragons? Apparently not. But I am. Oh, I lost my extra life. Alright, because I died- I jumped off a cliff. 
the dragon's back. Here to be slightly more complicated, uh, more pro problematic. Get your bubbles out of here. I'm trying to go downstairs. There we go. Now you're screwed. Aha! Your weakness. Blowing the fuck up. Hey, get, come, come closer over here. Damn it. I don't want to jump over there. I don't trust you. There we go. See? You just keep doing that. Okay, fine. I'll come over there. Oh, you're dead. It's fine. It worked out. Yeah. Oh. Must be mine. I don't know what those things are for, but I think I have all of them, except for maybe some that are in a secret area I may have missed. I assume it's just for another type of upgrade system. Ow. That was a bad plan. That was admittedly a poorly constructed concept, uh, plan on my part, so... Wow. This is immediately getting more complicated, so I need to do a jump at him, and then do some aerial attacks in midair, but then do, a, uh, then do a double jump after that to land on the platform. There we go. That's more or less what we have to do. That's... Okay. There's some more stunts involved here than I was originally expecting. Can I get these? Yeah, that was that was really risky. Oh, okay. Moment where you don't trust where you're gonna land. Oh man, there's gonna be some funny deaths in this playthrough. That's what's gonna happen. So what do I do here? So I have to do charge. Okay, you can just do that when you're on a ladder. Good to know. Careful. There we go. The crystal is mine. And now we explode things for a while. Yay! But in a, try to go in a specific pattern? Because it must be complete. I have to make up... Oh, crap. Well, so much for that. <laughs> hey! Get out of here! Creepy an creepy enemies at hiding in the tall grass. I'll hit you with your elemental weakness. Slap to the face. Alright. Ooh, explodies. Where do you go? Anything else back there? Nope. It's, inter it's interesting to have a character that's so bad at jumping that you have to do a, uh, a super jump to get over most basic cliffs. I wonder if that's based on a specific game, or if it's just something they came up with. It's definitely gonna recontextualize a lot of this game that I would- that I traversed very differently before. There we go. Chest? Since I'm playing it- since I'm playing as the nasty little looking Plague Doctor character, be a really cr cr uh, weird twist to be suddenly like, Hey, by the way, now there's a... Uh... Ow, I hurt myself. No, I really hurt myself. Alright, we're back. <laughs> oh my god. This is immediately difficult in a way that the, uh... Original Shovel Knight did not feel. Probably, it's probably just because it's non-traditional, a bit of a- Oh, of course I died one second away from the next checkpoint. <laughs> uh... I'm, ho I'm hoping that this is a lot like, uh, Dark Souls, where it starts off being really brutal. Where it's like, you're just- Wow, this mechanic's not clicking for you, is it? But then, before long, I totally obliterate it. Because I have some very- I have some very embarrassing early Dark Souls 2 moments. Listen to me, Magicist. I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion. Ultimate what? I haven't seen him since we fled to join the Order of No Quarter. Ah, how chemical trickery. You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? What are you insinuating? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. Is winning the Magistus' heart worth betraying your allies? <laughs> what? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is... A traitor. Do what you will with the Order. But none threaten the Enchantress and live. Oh, he's gonna be friendly. Well, at least he doesn't have the same moveset as me this time. Oh, crap. He's in my face. Yeah. I can fly, motherfucker. Oh, crap. He can fly, too. Forgot about that. Oh, crap. Dude can cover ground. Ow. Okay, he's more... He has more immediate offensive powers than I do. So that's a little scary to deal with. Oh, shit. I forgot he had magic. Completely forgot he had magic. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ow, shit. I thought he was gonna keep going in the air. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, crap. Missed completely. Alright, this is a very strange way to have to fight somebody. This is gonna be interesting. 
So you're playing as a character in a boss fight, and he's super aggressive melee, and I'm super weird ranged non-direct attack. This is gonna be an interesting experience. First of all, muahaha, the power of alchemy. Uh, so congratulations to me on wasting those, right? <laughs> there we go. Oh crap! Ah! Let's be really mobile here to deal with the fact that he angry. Oh, he angry. Ah, oh, crap. He followed me into the air. Uh oh, missed completely. Uh. Oh, got him. Aha, I got him with my own charge. I have to be very worried about the fact that he takes damage very slowly. Aha. Aha! That's my defensive move. When he charges me, I can just do this. Oh yeah. That's cool. Ow, he got me first. <laughs> oh. That's why I need to keep track of is that this is this is an offensive attack. Huh. Aha! Oops. Oh, did not mean to do that. Finger slipped. Aha! Aha! Oh, he, did hurt, he hurt me? Crap. Crap! <laughs> Crap, he's on my face! Get him away! Uh. One of the tough things is that when I hit him, he comes to, he comes towards me. All right, I got that. I only died like once, right? Just had to adapt a bit. And I think I got it. I'm on board with this guy's victory dance. <laughs> Looks like looks like we're forgoing the dream sequences this time. All right. Oh, that's what my that's what my little icon looks like. All right, into the village we go. Ferals, halt! No weapons allowed. Wait a minute. Let's just pretend I don't recognize you, and you go safely on your merry way. This doesn't have to get messy. And don't show your creepy bird face around here again, freak! <laughs> yeah, is everyone running away from me? That's great. Oh, maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't hear me through that mask. Oh, <laughs> we already had this conversation, pal. You're not supposed to be here. Now get lost before I lose my patience. You can't stop me. Aha! Oh, all right. Well, apparently I'm not allowed to go into town. All right. Oh, hello. Will you sell me illegal goods on the black market? Psst. Hey, plague knight. I'm still guarding your secret entrance, but I lost the key. The locksmith should be here in a week or two. Maybe you could wait until then. Or I can just blow it all up, right? Aw. Oh. Is that not an option? We can just jump over it, right? Whee! Now where am I? Hey, a coin. Blowing things up? Yeah, this will go over well. Alright. I don't need no locksmith. Not with this swagger. You in a good mood? Well, I guess I'm canceling the locksmith appointment. <sighs> this was the house I grew up in. Excuse me, Plague Knight. I'm not the happiest person to be around. Oh, I'm, I'm safe. I thought I was in danger. <laughs> I thought I was going into a hole. Aha! You guys thought you could keep me out. Oh, Shuffle Knight's up there. Are we in? Are we doing this in parallel? Weird. Oh. <laughs> Mona, we have a big uh, problem on our hands. We even found out. Oh, the Black Knight thing? Yeah, Madge just filled me in. Don't worry your beak. That fool has nothing on us. Look, all we need to worry about is those final ingredients. We're still languishing here in security until then. Yes. <laughs> the essences. I shall pay our friends a little visit and uh, <laughs> borrow them. Right. And while you're doing that, I'll keep researching ways to get more bang for our buck. You know what they say, the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist! Yes! <laughs> Let's get to work. Whoa! <laughs> These lifts neither, neither, never cease to, to both amuse and nausea. <laughs> Truly really a dizzying display of technology. 
Anyway, welcome back to the Potionarium. So, what are we working on? Research. Is that the coins? Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cipher coins for materials. Look, I can't build this stuff on a, on a shoestring budget, so until you have those coins, we're kind of stuck. Alright, so I have 31, I need 9 more, and then I can invent something new, supposedly? Let's go shopping. I can get... Ooh, lob casing. So I can get cases, powders, and fuses to affect my potions. Case, arcs into the air before it comes crashing down? Powder, tracer powder. Oh, so that one was lob casing. This is tracer powder. Produces wall climbing flames. Produces wave of fire in both directions. Ooh, that increased my AoE range. That'd be very handy. I can't afford it though. Fuse, blows up a long time after throwing. I don't know if I want that. Burst. Uh, float slowly to the ground, press down to fall again. Ooh, I like that. Let's try that. Don't necessarily know how it works. Let's see, float, so, yep. Yeah. So it's a slow fall? Is it, do I, do I do it with this? Um, maybe I have to equip it. Burst. Arcana. So that all right, explode all around you and launch to the air. Slow. Oh, so it's a slow float. There we go. So I, it's, I had to change. I had to change the equipment. Slow fall. Oh my god, this will save. This will save me in so many ways. <laughs> this would have. <laughs> this will fix so much heartache from the last run. What's over here? What? Look at all these guys. Oh my god. There's a there's a whole underground. Oh, that's gross looking. All right. Well. I think I like the potion area, you guys. It's been great offloading all of my work. I mean, cooperating with Mona. She really knows her stuff. I think I've got it. Powders make explosions, fuses affect timing, and cases change the tra trajectory. We have new people. Wow, this is crazy. So we have a whole alternate town for us. I assume when I come here in the future, I'll just warp down here, and that was just a fun intro to where it is. Minion. I picked up your special delivery. You want to take a look and, s and settle the bill? 1200, toss into a sparkling pit and see what flies up. But I need 1200, which I don't have, because I bought my slow fall, which I do not regret. Excuse me. Do you, have, do you, know, do you know how important that a change that was for me? Magicist. Oh, hello, Plague Knight. Black Knight tried to interrogate me, but I think I threw him off the trail. Whether it's business or personal, don't worry, your secrets are safe with me, Plague Knight. Anyway, yes, of course, uh, you like potions, wouldn't you? I can get health tonic. Buy the maximum number for 100, or a magic upgrade for 3,000, I can make more mana bar. Good to know. I just want to explore what all these different shops do before we go anywhere else. Hey, horseman. Percy. Ah. Plague died, my good friend. A moment of your time. <sighs> How can I help you, Percy? I run out of paper, and I can't fit any more ballistic formulae on my hoof. I'm in desperate need. <sighs> do you need glue as well? Is that really you're gonna make a glue? Jo are you gonna make a glue joke with a horse? I know where we can make some. <laughs> oh, why? Thank you, but just the paper will do. And by the way, you're looking a bit forlorn lately. Maybe I'll repay your kindness with some love advice. You can stay where you are over there. What is this nightmare? Ah, everyone works so hard down here. Yes, an oolong want to help can help can make musics, but got tired, fell asleep, went awake, forget almost all music, so sad, poor Oolong. Well, think very hard, maybe you remember more musics then, I help, I help science. I think I have music. So, Dr. Knight, Oolong ready, you listen to musics now? Yes, bravo, only no best musics I remember. Those are the ones I have so far? Huh. 
So do I still have my paper? I do. So it's just, they're just scrap sheets. Alright, so they replaced the music notes with just being paper, so I actually give those to Percy himself instead of giving the, uh, notes to that guy. He'll just play, I, I think Oolong will just play any song that I discover, basically. My ally, that's two sheets of paper you've brought me. 500 gold for each. Sharps, flats, time signatures. What's all this? Eh, I'll just write on the back. Oh, I nearly forgot. As I promised, a fitting reward, a romance temp from Sir Percival. Gently stroke her hair as you tenderly feed her some oats. Move slowly, don't spook her. Was this guy raised in a barn or what? Oh god, we're talking about actual horses. I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna stay over here now. I have a thousand to spend, that's cool, but that shipment costs 1200. Good news is I have money now. From but from those sheets, that's good incentive to, to get more. Oops. Go back in there. Alright, good to confirm that we start off on these elevators. What's over here? Or is that also leaving? It's also leaving. Good to know. Alright guys, this has been a fun little intro. I'm glad to have Shovel Knight back. So we'll be playing through another campaign as Plague Knight, the first expansion. There's supposed to be other expansions in the future also, so I'll probably play those too, just because I really enjoy this game. I already get the feeling I'm going to have more trouble with this one, because it's way harder to control Plague Knight than it was Shovel Knight, or at least it's less straightforward, but let's see what practice does, right? The slow fall will probably help. Thanks for watching, guys, like always. I'll see you next time, and be sure to check out the playlist in the description if you want to see my playthrough of the original Shovel Knight campaign, where you're actually Shovel Knight. I'll see you later.